October 15th, 2020 Daily Math Review. Number one, Ali has invited 18 adults and six children to a cookout. Mo, Ali's best friend, suggests that Ali seats an equal number of adults and an equal number of children at each table. What is the greatest number of tables Ali could use? How many adults and children would be seated at each table? All right, so there's two parts here. We need to make sure that we are answering both questions at the end. So I'm going to kind of put that in italics and bold because we need to figure out, first of all, what is the greatest number of tables and then how many adults and how many children at each table. So first part, our biggest keyword here is greatest. <laughs> the biggest keyword, greatest, greatest number of tables. So we're going to find the greatest common factor. So we're not going to need this least common multiple. So we can go ahead and get rid of that for now. Um, let's go ahead and we are going to take a look at the greatest common factor. I can make this table a little bit bigger for us. Oop, a little too big. There we go. All right, so greatest common factor. But what are we going to find the greatest common factor of? Oh, yeah, we've got 18 adults. So I'm going to put 18 adults. I'm going to highlight that in blue. And then we have six children. So we're going to find that greatest common factor. Whoa, where, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to put that in green. Awesome. So let's find 18 and 6, the greatest common factor. So when we have the greatest common factor, we're going to do our factor trees. So we have 18 and then we have 6. Um, 18, how can we break 18 down? Well, there's multiple different ways. You can do 2 times 9 or you can do 6 times 3. Uh, let's do 6 times 3 here. Let's try that out. 6 times 3. Now, we notice that three, we cannot break it down anymore. So three is a prime number, so we're gonna circle it um, because the only two factors are one in itself. But six, we can break down. Six is gonna be breaking, broken down into two times three. Not three times three, but two times three. Remember, multiplying. Three again is a prime number, so we're gonna circle it because we can't break it down anymore. Same thing with that two. We cannot break it down anymore. All right, now we've finished our prime factorization of 18, which is in order from least to greatest, we have a two and then a three and a three. So it's going to be two times three times ooh, <laughs> three. All right, let's take a look at six. Greatest common factor of six. Ooh, we just did this. When we break down six, what times what equals six? Oh, yeah, two times three. Or three times two. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. Both of those are prime numbers. That means we're going to circle them. Yay. So when we circle them, we have no more um, branches to go. So in order from least to greatest, we have a two times three. Now we need to figure out what prime factors do they share. So what do they share? Do they share a two? <gasps> Actually, yeah, they do. I highlight that in pink there. Um, they have a matching pair of socks of two. What about a three? Yes, they do. They have a three in common. Ooh, let's do that in orange. Do they have anything else in common? No, that's all. So they share a two and they share a three. Remember, we pull one from each. Now, we are going to multiply these factors. So two times three. We know that equals six. So our greatest common factor is six. But six what? What is this six representing? Well, the six is, actually, I'm going to put the six right up here. Six um, is going to represent um, the greatest number of tables. So six tables is the greatest common factor. So I'm going to actually put that in red. So we know that's part of our answer. But then the next part of our answer, or the next part of the question says, how many adults and how many children would be seated at each table? So we need to figure out how many adults and how many children. We talked about this the other day. So if we were to take our step further, remember, if we have adults, so there were 18 adults, we divide that 18 by the greatest common factor. So 18 divided by 6, that equals 3. So there's going to be 3 adults. And then let's see, this 6, we're going to divide 6 by this greatest common factor. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. So 3 adults and 1 child at each table, at each table.
I'm gonna put the and there. There you go. So three adults and one child at each table. So I'm gonna put that in red as well because that is also part of our answer. And that is it for our DMR. Great job.